Say this was a domestic violence incident that escalated to deadly violence. Fox 61's DeAndrea Turner joins us in studio with the new details coming out of the case. DeAndrea. Sarah and Brant police say that another family member shot and killed Christopher Garvin after Garvin allegedly shot the mother of his children inside of her home. Now, one of the most shocking details that police released today is that the officers were with the woman inside of her home until 2 a.m. Sunday morning, just 30 minutes before she was shot. This is a tragedy. This is a terrible incident. She came to us. We did everything possible to help her. New Haven police are providing new details about the shooting Sunday that ended with a man being shot dead and a woman critically injured. Police now say this shooting wasn't an attempted murder suicide, rather a family member of the woman protecting her from Christopher Garvin. We believe that Mr. Garvin um, attempted to harm the female victim and then a, v a female victim's family member uh, defended her, her family member and shot Mr. Garvin. But before the 911 call came in about shots fired at the Shelton Avenue home, police say that it was Garvin who came to the police station first to try and derail the woman's potential complaint. Prior to her arrival, Mr. Garvin had come to the police department to, to, to kind of like discredit her complaint, to say that she was going to claim that he stole something from her, but he didn't really do it. Soon after, police say that the woman came into the station to file a domestic dispute complaint against Garvin. Establishing a safety plan, police say they stayed with the woman at her home until around 2 a.m. when they got a call for a possible home invasion in the 400 block of Shelton Avenue, just 30 minutes before they were called back to her home. When they arrived, they discovered two bodies, um, who was Mr. Garvin and the female victim. Now domestic violence agencies like Hope Family Justice Center in New Haven and other agencies are coming together for the victim's family. Multiple family members have been contacted today by multiple community providers. We are all collaborating together to coordinate services and care. Now, according to court records, Garvin had two pending charges for breach of peace and assault in the third degree after being arrested for a fight at a store last March. Now, as for the woman, she still remains in the hospital in critical condition. In the studio, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.